Hey YouTube, this is a uh, uh, one hundred Evil Air, and today I will be doing a DPS review on my Death Knight. And yep, I've been gearing him up with the new four point three Hour of Twilight gear that I have received from Raid Finder and Dungeons. Okay, so my level is three seventy six, which should lead to about twenty k DPS. Last time I checked. I pulled about 27 to 30k, which is a big improvement for me. Uh, I'm really working on uh, just some uh, s achievements, getting gold, and um, really mainly I'm just working on uh, getting my professions and my. I'm just planning on getting a few more raid finder pieces so that I can run more advanced raids with my guild. I have already run Firelands with them. And uh, so yeah, I'm just going to show you some of uh, the rotation that I use. I don't know if it will help you guys, but I'm going to show you the rotation I use, and uh, I'm going to show you the DPS that I do. <coughs> Excuse me. And so here we go. So if we, we start out summoning your rise. Well, first of all, use Horn, Horn of Winter because it increases your strength and agility. So you don't want to do that. You're going to want to use Pillar of Frost. But we're going to do that after we summon our raised dead. Okay. So now we got some extra DPS with our uh, pet. Horn of Fro um, uh, Pillar of Frost. Now we're going to use Howling Blast. Plague Strike. Obliterate. Frost Strike. And look at this. Look at this DPS that I'm doing. It's not great compared to what most players can do. But it's a huge improvement for me, and I hope you guys can understand that. So, I know my rotation's a little off now because of the cooldowns on some of the spells. But right now, it looks like I'm pulling somewhere around. Here, let me just pause for a sec. Right now, I'm pulling somewhere around maybe 20, maybe 19k around there. Because I'm doing a minimum 7k hit. And there we go. Use that again, use that again. Wait for our obliterate cooldown. Got obliterate. 34k. 2k. That was my lowest hit. Do that again and again. And here we go. We're going to wait for obliterate to come. And boom. Look at those crits. And. Cast obliterate. I get hooked on this. Okay, so our DPS is getting a little low, if you notice. So we got to renew Horn of Winter, Pillar of Frost, and we're good to go again. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're gonna wait for our obliterate, so we can get the best DPS pull possible. Oh, there we go. There's some good DPS right there. That's better. Throw in a heal spell. Heal for 10k. Yeah, my DPS is a lot better now that I've taken some time out of my fighting to uh, use Horn of Winter. And there we go. Crit. Crit. Let's end with a uh, Obliterate Crit if we can build up enough runic power to do that. And there we go. End with a 39k crit. So, oh, I have enough runic power. Let's uh, do another. That DPS was a little weak. Oh, 24, that's, that's horrible. Okay, so right there, I don't have recount, but you can sort of estimate it and compare it to your lowest hit, to your highest hit. My highest hit I did was about, I, I, I wasn't even paying attention, but the highest hit that I hit for was about 45k maybe. And the lowest was... Uh, oh, maybe 5k, so... If you average that out, I'm not really. I don't even know if this is, if this is how you average it, even if you don't have recount. But I'm just gonna sort of estimate what I was pulling. I'm guessing around 20, 21 to 26k maybe. Or if I'm wrong, then I was probably doing somewhere around 19k, cause I know I'm not super advanced yet. So yeah. Um. Oh yeah, some new updates about patch 4.3 that I forgot to mention in my last video. 
They have a new ability that you can do called Raid Finder, which is exactly what I have been doing. They have Fall of Deathwing or Siege Temple. You get 250 Valor for each and 83 gold, and you also can pick up some gear for the rules. You can do tank, heal, it's just like a normal dungeon. And you can also list your name for other raids. And you can, yeah. So, another thing about patch 4.3 is, well, it's not new. I mean, it's just sort of an update. New honor point gear. One of the things that I'm mainly disappointed about this is, look. The new honor gear is the exact same as the old conquest gear. The exact same. It's the exact same as the old conquest gear. <clears throat> so, now one more thing. Sorry about this. One more thing that I forgot to mention. I'm just going to fly over here and I'm going to show you the transmogrification. I don't know if I said that right. Uh, I haven't. Transmogrification or whatever. Yeah, who cares? So, trans. Let's just call it trans. So, uh, they have a new thing called trans where you basically make your gear look like gear that you want it to look like but it, it's hard to explain you need the gear see here it is a uh, void storage arcane reforger and a transmogrifer so um if you if i had a piece like if i had like a level 4 piece and i wanted to transmogrif my chest to that piece i could do that for a for a small cost and so yeah, so you need to have the gear that you're gonna. So basically, if I wanted my shoulders that I have now, the dungeon shoulders, if I wanted them to look like the uh, the heirloom shoulders for warriors or something, I could trans more griff to, and then it would look like the warrior shoulders, but it would have the same stats. Now, if you guys are wondering why I don't trans more griff. For the video to show you guys, it's because I don't really believe in transmogrifying. I know this sounds sort of stupid. I'm not preaching, but yeah, I don't believe in transmogrification because it's showing that you have. I this is what I believe. You guys might not believe the same thing. You guys might think I'm stupid, but I believe that it shows that you're fraud. You might transmogrif Firelands gear, and people will think you have the full Firelands set, but that's really BS. So. That's why I don't like it. Anyway, signing off. Thank you for watching, and comment, rate, and subscribe. Bleeding Hollow, Dangerous Thoughts Guild.